Hi, welcome back for another one of these Wednesday uh, Playdate videos. Uh, today I'm going to be playing some of the non-seasonal stuff. Uh, somebody remade Bird and Beans, uh, which was uh, also called Puro, when I imported the uh, WarioWare games. Uh, it was a WarioWare minigame uh, that you could unlock, and real cool. Just posited this idea that this was an arcade game that existed forever, but it didn't, and it was brand new, and it was awesome. So I haven't actually played this yet. I'm going to see how the implementation is on the playdate. Thank you, Mad Vogel. All right. So far, it's regular. Okay, and you can kind of do some cheating with the uh, crank. I don't quite know how that works, but I'm just going to forget about that for now. So, the black ones are just regular. You get more points the higher up on the screen you get them. If you don't catch one, it will take away a block on the ground, and getting a white bean will... Uh, that's why I was hoping for that one. Getting, yeah, 300 points. Getting a white bean will fill in a gap. messing up. You absolutely want to be catching them high. You, you get you get nowhere by catching these guys low. So you're absolutely looking for actually you're looking for a thousand points you can get them all the way up. Which I would have done if that other bean hadn't blocked the way for me. But in order to get a thousand you pretty much just have to guess and get lucky. Oh no I'm just a little trapped here. Oh no, I'm very trapped. I didn't even see that one fall. Man, I'm, I've lost. I have lost so early. That's very kind of you. Okay, so hold A or crank to catch beans. There are more points for higher beans. Don't get hit. Yeah, I'm going to play one more in here, and then I'm going to check out one fish of feathers. Official sequel that the same guy, I believe, made. I do remember one of my uh, my good bird bean stats was just hang out in the corner, hope for a good bean there, protect your spot, and just make sure you catch the ones that are coming down near you, and keep hoping that they drop one just as your tongue gets up there. I'm trying to remember if the uh, the white beans also give you more points by default. Have to catch one up high to find out. Yeah, there's my thousand points. Give me another one. Yeah. There go. go out here that. Stuff on the other side, don't really care about it. The frequency of beans increases quite a bit once you get more points, which is really good because then you get even more points. Uh, the flashing bean will refill everything and destroy all the beans on screen, which is pretty sweet. And as you play more stuff Appears in the background as you uh, as you, you cross certain points thresholds. Over far enough to get this one. Nope, nope, it just hit me. Still, so, ten thousand. Not so bad. Oh wait, no, I got it's eight thousand one hundred. I was looking at the high score, which I bet beating that. Thanks, God. I bet beating that would unlock whatever the heck's in the middle. But, oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, let's check out the other, the other version of this, Fish and Feathers, which is going to be an entirely new experience. 
I'm looking forward to seeing. This might be a different person than if it was five verses. Nope, still Mac will say. Okay. He's got a bunch more stuff. Okay, Seaside Town's only fishing rod got stuck inside you, and you must catch as many fish as you can to support the rapid growth. Uh, classic mode, if you, uh, it's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Ah. Little, uh, achievement. Achievement, you think? It's awesome. Yeah, this feels pretty much exactly the same. I'm super down with. Okay. So this classic mode is just burden beans. The coat of paint. And my game has crashed. Uh-oh. Hopefully I can keep the footage that I've got. Yes, okay, good. Uh, that's a pain in the tuchus. I really would have liked to have seen more efficient feathers, but you know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna mess with that. I'm not gonna mess with that. So uh yeah. I've got uh oh the whole thing came out. Alright. I got this cool screen right here. Press A. It does reboot very nice and quick. But uh again, I'm not I'm not messing with this now. Alright. So that was a shorter Wednesday playthrough than I expected. I was hoping to play a lot more Fish and Feathers and not as much Bird and Bean. Sometimes you get what you get. And uh, I don't know if it's this latest update, but I've been having uh, a lot more crashes on non-season games. And uh, yeah, it's that kind of a thing. Usually uh, when I play these, uh, when I sit down to do these sessions for, uh, for the week, I, I warm up by playing a bit of a uh, joke that's worth 99 cents to see if I can ever get to the end of that flippin' joke. And, uh, nope, just crashed immediately. It took me so much effort to uh, try to get the, the mirror to work again, the, the, the capture software. Not even so much effort, but it, I tried a bunch of stuff, and it wasn't until I restarted the whole system that it worked. Uh, so, hopefully there's a patch coming through for whatever the heck happened there, or the individual games that I would like to play will get individually patched. So, yeah, hello, play Nickel. I'll see you on Monday, Tuesday. Close out the season. How's that sound? Hope to see you there.